The moon hung high in the sky as my friends and I ventured into the old cemetery on the outskirts of town. It was supposed to be a harmless adventure, a chance to explore the eerie tombstones and crumbling mausoleums under the silver light of the full moon. But as we delved deeper into the shadowy depths of the graveyard, I could feel a sense of unease settling over me like a heavy fog. The air was thick with the scent of damp earth and decay, a tangible reminder of the countless souls that lay buried beneath our feet. The ground was soft and muddy, the recent rain turning the pathways into treacherous quagmires that threatened to swallow us whole with each step we took. But despite the ominous atmosphere, we pressed on, our curiosity driving us forward into the heart of the cemetery. We wandered among the rows of tombstones, our flashlights casting eerie shadows against the ancient stones as we searched for signs of the supernatural. And then, just as we were about to give up hope of finding anything out of the ordinary, we stumbled upon it, a series of freshly dug graves, their gaping maws yawning wide in the moonlight. My heart sank as I realized what we had stumbled upon, graves that had been desecrated, their occupants stolen away into the darkness by some unseen force. But the horror didn't end there. As we peered into the depths of the open graves, our flashlights illuminating the grim contents within, we made a chilling discovery. Bodies, missing limbs, their faces frozen in silent screams of agony, as if they had been torn apart by some savage beast. A chill ran down my spine as I realized the true horror of what had transpired in this unholy place. Someone or something had been lurking in the shadows, preying upon the dead with a savage hunger that defied comprehension. And then, just as we were about to turn and flee from the cemetery, we heard it. The sound of footsteps echoing through the darkness, growing louder and more ominous with each passing moment. We froze in place, our hearts pounding in our chests, as we waited for the source of the sound to reveal itself. And then, emerging from the shadows like a wraith, from the depths of hell, we saw him, the grave robber. His eyes gleamed with madness as he surveyed us with a predatory gaze. His lips curled into a cruel smile that sent shivers down my spine. Without warning, he lunged forward, his movements quick and vicious as he closed the distance between us with alarming speed. Panic surged through my veins as I realized that we were trapped, with no means of escape from this deranged lunatic who had made the cemetery his twisted domain. But just as he was about to reach us, something unexpected happened. The grave robber stopped in his tracks, his eyes flickering with uncertainty as he regarded us with a mixture of anger and disdain. You shouldn't have come here, he growled his voice low and menacing as he took a step back, his hands clenched into fists at his sides. This is my territory, and I won't let anyone take it. With that, he turned and disappeared into the darkness, leaving us alone in the cemetery with nothing but our fear and uncertainty to keep us company. We wasted no time in fleeing from the graveyard, our hearts racing, as we ran through the winding pathways, desperate to put as much distance between ourselves and the grave robber as possible. As we stumbled out of the cemetery and back into the safety of the moonlit night, I couldn't help but feel a sense of relief wash over me, a relief that we had escaped with our lives intact, and a newfound respect for the darkness that lurked in the heart of the cemetery, waiting to claim its next victim.